right now we're on the cusp of one of the greatest opportunities ever in fitness. So think about the aging baby boomers. There are about 78 million of them in the United States. And that number means that in the fitness industry, because boomers, one of the demographics or descriptors of them is that we want to age well. I call myself a barely boomer. I'm on the tail end, tail end. But we want to age well. It's not that we are afraid of aging. We just want to be active as we do it. We want to be able to give back and volunteer and travel and spend time with our families. And we realize that fitness and health are important. So the projection is that in the fitness industry, job positions will grow by another 24%. We're in 2013, they've grown about 44% since the year 2000. So that's huge growth. But what's that gonna do? If you're a trainer right now, that means that in five years and in 10 years, there will be a lot more personal trainers. There are gonna be a lot more businesses opening up niches for older people, for younger people, for everyone, for women. So there will be a lot more places serving these people who will need directors and managers. The opportunity for advancement is going to be huge. So think about what will you be wishing in 2020 that you had been learning right now? What kind of skills do you wish that you had been learning? So the ability to see that vision of what's gonna happen in the fitness industry, what's coming around the corner, that's really the sign of a leader. So if you've had some of those thoughts, you've thought about that, you thought about what could I do? What unique type of service or delivery of that service could I create that is different than anyone else that will serve a niche people are willing to pay for in the next three years or five years or seven years. That's where your success lies. So stick around. The world needs health professionals that care and that are credible and educated and wanna make a difference. They need you.